Hello dear learners welcome to massive open online course on swayam in annual preparatory program for enhancement in academics and revision also known as apio in english for class 12th i am heman consultant cit ncert new delhi and with me is professor keerthi kapoor from the department of education in languages ncert new delhi welcome ma'am welcome thank to the session thank you heman and hello students hope you are doing well right so ma'am which aspect of reading skill we are going to take up in today's session today we will learn about reading skill part 3 right which will cover the topics like the importance of reading mm -hmm. and different reading strategies that all of us use when we read different types of texts every day mm -hmm. like identifying topic sentences mm -hmm. main ideas mm -hmm. and supporting details and we must also understand the author's purpose right. and the tone of the text right ma'am so ma'am in the previous two modules we had already talked about the importance of reading regularly and looked at different reading strategies in reading skill part 1 and part 2 right and in this module we will continue our focus on reading strategies so what are the learning outcomes of this module yes we must know the learning outcomes that right. is very important right ma'am so after going through this module learners will be able to achieve the following learning outcomes they will be able to identify topic sentence in a paragraph right they will also be able to distinguish main ideas from supporting details we must understand right. what is the main idea mm -hmm. and what are the details that are supporting the main idea main idea then they will also be able to understand or differentiate between topic and main idea and also identify the author's purpose and recognize the tone of the passage right. so these are the learning outcomes that we must achieve mm -hmm. or our learners must achieve mm -hmm. after doing this module. module see remember when your reading skills improve your listening speaking and writing skills also improve these are competencies right. we need to hone these competencies yes if you recollect in module 2 reading has purpose the way you read something will depend on your purpose you read different texts in different ways always keep in mind that reading is an interactive process hmm. it's an interactive process right ma'am hmm. so ma'am you have just mentioned uh, a term that is reading is a uh, uh, is an interactive process so uh, how we can say that reading is an interactive process and what are the uh, important things we include in this very important question uh, as a reader you are not passive right. but you are active yes you are interacting with the text hmm. and you are getting the meaning right right and as you have to construct meaning from the words that you are reading therefore it is important to understand the topic sentence main ideas and supporting details of the text you are reading mm -hmm. it's also equally important to understand the author's purpose and tone of writing mm -hmm. in this module we will look at all these strategies to enhance overall comprehension of what you read right ma'am so ma'am how to identify the topic sentence okay a very good question i must say that we need to begin with this right a topic sentence is a sentence in the introduction that tells the reader what the rest of the paragraph or the text will be all about right let us say if the topic sentence concerns the types of endangered species that live in the ocean then every sentence after that needs to support that subject we cannot jump to the other idea let's take a few examples for example the topic is fast food right. it's very general right right hmm. so what will be the specifics under this yes ma'am uh, ma'am in fast food we basically include burger pizza mm. and french fries mm. whatever which is available mm. you know under this particular list so we consider as fast food so that means you will talk about types right 
and then what are the other things that are related to it hmm. with food right Mm-hmm. Ma'am, we basically tend to have some kind of allergies right. if we used to have such kind of, you know, food. Mm-hmm. So, like, many people are there who are having uh, uh, allergy from wheat or some kind of uh, particular product. Sure. Right. So, that means uh, now specific details are types of mm-hmm. fast food mm-hmm. and allergies that it may cause. Right. Right? Mm-hmm. Now, let us take another example. Topic sentence. There are many reasons why... Pollution in X city is the worst in the world. world. The topic is pollution in X city is the worst in the world. Mm-hmm. And the controlling idea is many reasons. Right. Let's quickly check our understanding by taking two minutes to complete this task. Mm-hmm. Friends, this is for you. Read the short text and choose the best topic sentence. Heman. May I request you to read the passage? Sure, ma'am. I play badminton every evening. My friends and I play it at recess and after school. My mom took me to a badminton match and I got to see Saina Nehwal play. That has been the greatest moment in my life so far. Okay, so you have read it. Now, there are three options under it. Hmm? Right. The three options are badminton is my favorite game. Right. Saina Nehwal is a great badminton player. And the third option is some people play both badminton and tennis. Now, which is the correct answer? Can you tell me? Yes, ma'am. On the basis of the paragraph, I can say that uh, the Mm -hmm. answer A, that is badminton is my favorite game, is the appropriate answer. Yes, remember, Mm -hmm. identifying the topic sentence is key to monitoring your comprehension Mm -hmm. and getting the full meaning of the text. Once you identify the topic, you can easily determine the author's main idea. Right, ma'am. Right. So, ma'am, you have just mentioned a very important term that is main idea. So, what do you mean by this term, main idea? Okay, main idea is the key concept Mm -hmm. that ties all the sentences in the paragraph Mm -hmm. or article together. Finding the main idea is a key to understanding what you read. Once you identify the main idea, everything else in the reading should fall into place. Now, to find the main idea, ask yourself these questions about the text. Mm -hmm. Who or what is the passage about? Right. What does the author want me to know, think or feel about this who or what? You raise these questions and then read the passage and you will come across the main idea. Right. If I had to tell someone in one sentence that this passage is about what would I say? Always remember the main idea cannot function on its own. There are other pieces of information required to make the text wholesome. Now, what are supporting details? As the name suggests, they support and give details to develop the main Mm. idea. They clarify, prove or explain the main idea. They come after the topic sentence, making up the body of a paragraph. That is how from a topic sentence Mm. to the supporting details, Mm -hmm. main idea and then the body of the paragraph is developed. Right. The supporting details in a paragraph might begin with some of the following words. For example, for instance, another, moreover, therefore, as a result, first, second, next, then, last, Finally, etc. Now, let us look at an example. Mm -hmm. Read the paragraph and take one minute to identify the main idea of the paragraph. Mm -hmm. So, students, this is for you. I am giving you one minute to read it. Now, Heman, can I request you to read the paragraph for the students? Right, sure, ma'am. There are many reasons why you should visit India. First, India is a country with diverse cultures with a large population speaking over thousands of languages. The people 
particularly in the rural areas, are some of the kindest and most hospitable people. Second, food is an another reason for driving tourist attractions to India. You might not find the taste of Indian curries anywhere else in the world. Finally, India ranks 10th best for price competitiveness. Luxurious accommodation is relatively affordable. Eating out costs very little indeed. And you can get around the country by train for peanuts. Okay. So, various reasons why people should visit India. India. Is the main idea. Is the, huh, right. Is the main uh, supporting details. Mm -hmm. We have been given reasons. Right. Right. Uh, now quickly read the paragraph again and list out the supporting details. Mm -hmm. You see, to understand a paragraph, we need to read it two, three times. Right now. Then we get the real meaning of the passage. Right. So students, have you read the paragraph once again? I am sure you must have read it. Now, supporting details. The first is, India is a country with diverse cultures with a large population speaking over thousands of languages. Okay? Therefore, you know, we call ourselves multilinguals. Okay? Right. The people, particularly in the rural areas, are some of the kindest and most hospitable people. Mm -hmm. Then the second is, food is another reason for driving tourist attractions to India. You might not find the taste of Indian curries anywhere else in the world. And finally, India ranks 10th best for price, competitiveness, luxurious accommodation is relatively affordable, eating out costs very little indeed, and you can get around the country by train for peanuts. So these three points give details and support the main idea as to why people should visit India. India. So, main idea was why people should visit India right. and the reasons have been given. These are the supporting details. Right. Now that we have looked at topic sentences, main idea and supporting details, let us move on to the next strategy. Okay, ma'am. And uh, may I know what is the next strategy that yes. you're talking? Yes, next strategy, understanding the author's purpose. Okay, ma'am. That's very important. Right. Think carefully and you will realize that every time you read something, you will find that the writer or author has a purpose mm -hmm. for writing. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the purpose is to merely entertain right. or tell an engaging story. Sometimes the purpose is to inform the reader of something. At other times, the author is attempting to make an argument or share an opinion on hopes of persuading the reader to his or her point of view regarding a topic. Mm -hmm. I hope this is clear. That is why we say when you are writing, keep the reader in mind. Mm -hmm. Right. Then only it will become an interactive piece. Yes. Okay. Uh, let us take two minutes to read the following excerpt from an expository essay. What do you think is the purpose of the author? To inform, to entertain or to persuade. We have given you some time to read it and then we will get back to you. We are waiting for you to read. So, ma'am, shall I read for the students? Yes, please do that, Heman. Yeah. If you have ever heard a dolphin make noise, the sounds you hear can be described as whistles and clicks. Scientists think that dolphins even have a unique signature whistle that can be used to identify specific members of their pod. Dolphins can also communicate and navigate under the water using echolocation. Echolocation is a process by which dolphins emit sound waves that bounce off of other objects under the water. Thank you, Heman, for reading it out for the students. Now, let us discuss. Yeah. What is the purpose of the author? Mm -hmm. hmm? Ma'am, on the basis of the paragraph, yeah. I would say that the author wants to inform the reader about how dolphins communicate. Yes, that's very right. right. Uh, moving on to the next topic now. We will look at how to understand the author's tone. 
To understand the author's tone, carefully observe how a writer uses certain words in a specific way to express his or her attitude towards the topic. The tone is also defined as what the author feels about the subject. Remember, finding the correct tone is a matter of practice. So words used by authors typically have a positive, negative or neutral connotation about what they are writing. Here are some examples of tone words in action. The proposal is so absurd that it can't possibly be taken seriously. The word absurd indicates that the writer finds the proposal ridiculous or silly. So, his tone is towards negativity. negativity. The principal speech was eloquent. The tone word eloquent has a positive feeling, mm -hmm. which indicates that the author found the speech articulate and persuasive. Let us look at another example, The Way Things Work by David Macaulay. I would want you to read it for the students. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. So the passage is as follows. The kind of nuclear reactions that happens inside a nuclear reactor is called nuclear fission. The fuel is uranium or platinum, two very heavy elements which have many protons and neutrons in their nuclei. Fission starts when a fast moving neutron strikes a nucleus. The nucleus cannot take in the extra neutron and the whole nucleus breaks apart into two smaller nuclei. What is Macaulay's tone in this passage? Can you think of three words that impact the tone? The options are uncertain or confused, mm -hmm. scared or apprehensive, mm -hmm. factual or unbiased. Mm -hmm. So what do you think this passage right is telling? Now. Through the tone of the Passage. Right. Hmm. So, ma'am, this passage is uh, giving factual information hmm. and it's completely unbiased. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, three words that impact the tone are nuclear, protons, uranium. Right, ma'am. Hmm? So, this is how we look at a paragraph when we start reading right. or any text that we read. Mm -hmm. Topic sentence, mm -hmm. main idea, mm -hmm. supporting, supporting details purpose of the author mm -hmm. and also we must look at the tone. Tone, right. Right? Why is tone important? Yes. Because while speaking, our body language, our intonation and pitch, mm -hmm. facial expressions, mm -hmm. expressions of the eyes, mm -hmm. they convey our tone. Right. Our body language. But you know, when we are writing, all these things are not available with us. Mm -hmm. So we use words that would convey all these things. But at the same time, punctuation helps us, you know, express those feelings. Right, Therefore, when you are reading a text, look at the punctuation marks very carefully mm -hmm. because they will help you comprehend the text. Right. Why do we use punctuation marks? Punctuation shows how the sentence should be read and makes the meaning clear. Punctuation is essential and is used to convey and clarify the meaning of written language. It is such simple marks as the full stop or the comma and the more complex ones such as semicolons and hyphens convey meaning. Getting punctuation wrong can change the entire meaning of a sentence. Pay attention to the use of punctuation marks while reading and also while writing. You see, when there is a full stop, that means one idea is complete mm -hmm. and now the author is moving on to the next, next point. Mm -hmm. Comma means it's the same idea, but mm -hmm. you know, ideas are flowing into each other. Right. Semicolon, a longer pause, mm -hmm. sign of exclamation. Right. Either you express your surprise mm -hmm. or your anger. Right. So, here, the word that is used with sign of exclamation will mm. express the right. tone. Tone, right. So, keep all these things in mind. Mm -hmm. 
So let us sum up now. Yes, mm -hmm. ma'am. So, ma'am, just to sum up the module, let's focus on the highlights of this particular reading skill module. Right. Having a good reading skill is essential. Right. As it will help you succeed in your studies mm -hmm. and life in general. Gen because reading is there with us throughout. Right. We keep reading from yes. morning till evening. Right. Remember, it is not possible to read everything on your reading list because... Your reading list is going to be very long. I'm very sure your reading list is very long, very long. Right. But we must read with full comprehension. Mm -hmm. Therefore, the key here is to be active, to find what you want, mm -hmm. to evaluate what you read and reject what you don't want. Right. If possible, set up a pattern so you spend a regular amount of time Reading every day. Yes. So with this, we have come to the end of this session. Happy reading. Right. And thank you for being with us. Right. So as ma'am just mentioned that you must read every day. So make it a habit and have a nice learning. Thank you.